everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to do a review about a TV emulator app called the 2B TV. I already did one on Pluto TV and it's very similar but there are some slight differences. As you will see, 2B TV is a little bit less like a TV emulator even though that's the term that I like to use for it. It's actually more just about movies and shows. It's more like Netflix in terms of it doesn't just start up playing content like Pluto TV will. Pluto TV is much more like turning on the TV, whereas Tubi is more in line with things that you may already be used to. So it updates, I would say frequently enough, um, I would say that the uh, available content shifts around here more than I saw on uh, Pluto TV. Um, this is all new. I, we have Igor and Charlotte's Web on Tubi TV now. Um, and I would say that the browsing is a lot more organized because it's not throwing a whole lot of imagery at you all at once. Um, but let's go to my favorite section, which is somewhere near the top, anime. So the menu here is a lot more extensive. And there have been some changes since the last time that I looked at it. Um, I definitely suggest, if you're going to get one app, I would suggest Tubi over Pluto for its expansive menu. But they're both free, and if you have enough room for it, I definitely suggest both. Because you'll definitely find some things that you um, like or appreciate about one app more than the other. Um, and vice versa. So, like, take them both for all their qualities. So let's pick something. I've never heard of this before. It's a romance anime. And one thing that I want to show off is, if possible, show off the caption. This does... Oh, okay, this came dubbed. So there is in-house caption on uh, both the apps. But I think that this is the one where the caption is unfortunately very small. Um, so I can't suggest it for people with, like, if you have, oh, there it is. That is very tiny. That, I don't know how to make it any bigger than that. I don't know why they did that. But that's something that I think isn't as much of a problem as, um, Pluto TV. I think that's the one with the larger closed captioning on it. And, um, I was also going to review Roku. But that stopped working for some reason, so I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to try to press that because I feel like for everything that's here, two is enough. Um, there's, there's drama. It's like, just looking at it from this, it makes it look there's a lot more by showing a lot less imagery and showing a lot more categories, in my opinion, in the comparison between this and Pluto. Um, so that's a really quick look at this. There is also the search, um, there is also the menu, and I think that um, it also has a lock and landscape mode, which Pluto I don't think has. I was going to say I think there is a um, remote feature like Roku has, and I think Pluto might also have, but I'm not seeing it, so I think that's enough for a really quick look. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy the content and stay tuned for more. Bye.